Right, um, tonight's bed talk, you see what I did there, is about Schumann resonance and a way of an introduction. I'll give you a bit of a, a lead in. Dream, dream, dream Dream, dream when I want you In my arms when I want you And all your charms whenever I tight whenever I want you all I have to do is dream 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 you see dreams if you were to link yourself up Measure your brain waves. They produce something that they call an alpha wave. Yeah? And it's somewhere between 1 and 13 megahertz. For the whole of our existence as Homo sapiens sapien, the Schumann resonance, the background that is around you 24 7, 365 has been constrained within that 1 to 13 megahertz. But over the past 20 years, things have been changing. Let me explain. That hum going on in the background is the same kind of shite that you get when you're near an electrical substation and you hear it in the background. It is electromagnetism. And the human resonance, basically, is the lightning that is happening around the world. And since the end of the last ice age at least at least that's been quite a, a constant we've had quite a stable yeah there's been ups and downs roman warm period little ice age you know the neolithic cold period but not enough to really alter things but over the past 20 years things have begun to change and the heat pouring into the atmosphere has led to both an expansion, a thermal expansion of the atmosphere, but also the energy within the atmosphere has, has increased. The warmer it is, the more energetic things are. You're an ice cube, the electrons aren't moving that fast. You become water, they're moving a bit faster. You become water vapor, and they're all over the place. You know, that's energy. That's how it works. So, our atmosphere doesn't lie evenly around the globe. It's fatter because of the spin of the world. It's thrown out at the equator, fatter, and it's much thinner at the poles. They even thought that you could not see lightning in polar regions because the atmosphere is just not tall enough to have the potential difference from the top of the cloud to the ground to spark that spark. 2012, we saw our first lightning 
moving towards the North Pole off the sort of northern Canadian shores, northern Alaska. And it's been repeated. We have equipment that measures that. I have a strike meter so that if we've got storms approaching to us, I can see within two seconds where the last strike was and which direction it's moved. You know, that kit's readily available. But at the equator, the height of the tropopause, that, that's the difference between the atmosphere where the weather happens and the stratosphere above it, the tropopause, has been rising. So you can get larger clouds, which means that the potential difference from the top of that cloud to the ground surface has increased. Which means you get a bigger spark, a more powerful flash of electricity. And of course that is repeated around the globe. And so we've seen an increase in the Schumann resonance. And in the past 10 years, it has busted through 13 megahertz. Well, what does that matter? What does that matter, 13 megahertz? They're just numbers. <laughs> As I said, the alpha wave, your dreaming brain waves, are between 1 and 13. When you go over 13, up to 30 megahertz, that's the waking mind. The planet is kind of giving you no option than when you're at rest to still have a waking mind. Up until 10 years ago, for all of humanity, when you've had that downtime, you've been in la-la land, daydream land. You've been dreaming. That's part of what the mind does. It's the same with music. If I were playing you a tune with a 60 beats per minute, mimicking the heartbeat, you'd be feeling pretty chill. So blues, dub reggae, all of that. But if you were to double that, 120 beats per minute then you'd be yeah at it you're getting into the energetic musics and and it drives you you know full well that depending on how you feel you'll choose the tempo to best suit you because you will try and harmonize with that background and that's what you're doing without knowing it that's what you're doing and without great herald or triumph, over the past 10 years, you are becoming more woke. Because when your brain's at rest, it's no longer dropping into that sub-13 megahertz. It's staying above it. It's harmonizing with the Schumann resonance. In 1958-59, big oil paid the scientists to tell them what the fuck was going on, what to expect. They gave them the hard word. Big oil shrugged its shoulders, doubled output, doubled exploration. They made their decision. What nobody told them is this increase in the Schumann resonance. Now, since the early noughties, well, throughout the noughties, their scientists have been saying, oh, we should have told you, but... There's an increase in this resonance and people's minds are now no longer going to be in la-la land. They're going to be more awake. And what do we see? We see this war on woke. They're trying to shame people about the fact that they're actually waking up. They don't have a chance. They don't have a choice or a chance either. To be any difference because their brains are slaves to this trying to harmonize trying to synchronize with the background resonances that are going on it's just how we're put together and how we work 
So we are, for the first time in humanity, becoming woke. It's not to do with this thing and being able to find out shit. It's to do with the fact that when our brains are on downtime, they're still working. They're now in this new age. And I think I'd choose that phrase wisely, this new age of wokeness. I find it wildly coincidental that the period that this was happening was around 2012 and everything you've heard about 2012 and the end of one reality and the beginning of another reality. It was never a catastrophic end to the world. It was the end of one world and the beginning of another world. This is the dawning of the age of a quick, you know, all of that shit. And it just would seem that science is supporting that that is exactly what is happening. We don't have a choice. But we should not be shamed by some right wing bigot because the way we used to think in our early life has altered and is altering and will continue to alter because as the planet warms, as that tropopause rises, as the intensity of the lightning and frequency of the lightning increases, the Schumann resonance will rise. And so when we have our downtime, our wokeness, our beta waves, 13 to 30 megahertz, is the beta brainwave matching our alert awake brain <sighs> go with the flow some people will fall by the wayside their brains will be frazzled other people will come into their own other people are coming into their own they're spending less less and less and less time daydreaming about the world they're living and more and more time existing within the world that is. And this is all to do with the Schumann resonance. And I find it the funniest of funny uh, ironies that the people that have wrecked the planet, that the people that have driven global warming have, without their knowledge, woken up the global population who will increasingly question what they're doing increasingly see what they're doing and be overtly critical of it do not be shamed by right-wing bigots talking about woke it's not your fault they did this to you they made you this way they have got to own it, not try and demonise it. So anyway, the information's all out there. Now your brain's awake, you go and search it out. Just read up on the human resonance, read up on the human brain, read up on the way we sympathise, empathise, harmonise with the background. And... Uh, and let your beta wave brain think on it. Later, people.